all right what's going on y'all uh i changed my name from the truth channel to somebody but nobody uh, i got a shave here too but yeah this is the second video i did i did a video a couple blocks down the street and it's it was too dark i was in between like trees and stuff i'm just trying to find a place where i can actually talk you know pretty loud because i have to talk like this in my phone in order for for it to be heard pretty good but you know, I'm in this situation and, and I'm going to explain a lot more what I mean because of this situation, but I'm in this situation now where my mother, you know, because of my hepatitis C and other health things, she was helping me pay my rent for where I live and she, uh, you know, she's going to stop giving me money. So, you know, now it's back to this, oh, what do I have to do to get by thing, you know, uh, where do I have to go and be a slave and, you know, slave for some other guy or girl that's some top corporate person that doesn't give a shit about me or you, you know, and it just, it makes my blood actually boil thinking about this. And here's why. Me and my mom were together the other day and she brought this up out of nowhere she said do you know how much the head guy of amazon makes in a day and i was like i don't know eight million and she's like he makes 13 billion a day 13 billion dollars a day and employees get paid like 17 18 something something around there and then walmart is one of the next big biggest corporations in i suppose the united states i have to look more into it i didn't do research on every little thing but they are the top corporation and they only pay their employees like ten dollars an hour and here's the thing that i'm getting at to me this is like a crime against humanity it's like a crime against humanity to get paid that much person or that much money as one person. And then you're only paying your employers not even pennies. You're paying them trash money. Like the money that these guys throw away in their trash and recycle and whatever else is more money than what they're paying people probably. And I know... That, that doesn't make sense as an analogy. I'm just saying, they're paying you next to nothing of what they make. But yet, we as a people, we still go and we work for these people. We slave for these people. We go to a job that we don't want to be at and we're there and we're miserable and we're getting just enough money to get by. What, what sense does this make? How insane is this? You know, I sit here and I think about it. And it's how can this be going on? And then these politicians and these other whatever they are, Republicans, Democrats, uh, these candidates that run for stuff, you know, they say, oh, well, it's a free enterprise. And it's freedom and they can do whatever they want all of that is complete bullshit it's not what they're saying it is it is not what they're saying it is this working shit is pure bondage and slavery nothing else and i realize that i'm going to have to go unless some kind of you know I don't believe in miracles, but miraculous thing comes up to where I don't have to go to a job, a part-time job, just to get by. Because see, all I want to do is pay my rent and have food, water, shelter, a bed, clothing to wear. You know, that's all that I want. I don't want a lot of things. You know, I'm a minimalist. I am a minimalist guy. And there's no way that I'm going to go to a full-time 
or a 10 hour a day job and slave for these corporate people. There is no way. I would never do it. I would be homeless before I went to a full time job. And you know, I don't know what you do out there. I don't know if you're at a nine to five slavery job or you're at some job that you might like. You might like that job, but you're still getting screwed right up the ass. They're not paying you nothing. They don't care about you. You're just there doing the dirty work, their dirty work. And, and you're, you're less than garbage to these people. You're less than trash to these people. They don't care. You're disposable. You're disposable. And, and that's what makes me so mad and infuriates me so much is that, you know, no, I don't have an income coming in. I don't have support right now. You know, and... But, but it should have never been like this in the first place. You know, when I was a child and I was a kid, we should have been brought up in a different way besides this brainwashed society and this brainwashed system. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. And the people that run it are greedy corporate men and women that do not give a rat's anus about you or me you're just there to do what they want you to do so they can get more rich you know i could understand going somewhere that was benefiting humans that was feeding humans that was giving us our needs you know what i mean because that's all we need is our needs that's all we need we don't need things that we want necessarily, even though, yes, it feels good to get things that we want sometimes. You know, but this is just crazy. Just listen to how insane this is. You take all of your time up working for this job and you come home and you have a very little bit of time for yourself and you go to sleep and you wake up and you do it all again. We are slaves to this system and these people. And I am sick and tired of it. I don't want to be a slave no more. And you know, I can't lie. And this really sucks to say. But I have not found a way to do this on my own. And make my own income even though i hate saying that you know income money profit you know it's not about that for me it's about living as comfortably as possible and about doing what i want to do in my life and being what i am and having true freedom and this is not freedom people it's not freedom, it's bondage. It's complete bondage. Complete and total bondage. You know, no, we don't have the, the chains on our hands and our ankles holding us down, but your mind is held by those chains. And I could sit here and I could rip this apart, you know, for a long time and... I had to come out here to talk about this because it bothers me so bad. You know, I have a couple weeks before I'm not going to have enough money again to pay for the little apartment I'm in. And I really like this little apartment I'm in. But, you know, I'm paying these guys $135 a week. I hardly use any water, you know, because I won't lie to you. I don't shower all of the time i shower when i need to shower and i know a lot of you might think that that's disgusting but when you're a minimalist you will understand that you just do enough to where you are not stinking and everyone else can smell you but you'll shower when need be you know you will get enough food that you need to eat and enough water to drink and you'll have as less as possible 
to sustain your life. And here's how I see these jobs and these corporations. They're making us work so that they can live a life and have everything that they want and have all this money and all this stuff. And it's only benefiting one person or a couple people. But yet, so many people aren't benefiting shit. We're not benefiting nothing. We're wasting our time. We're just getting by. How disgusting is this? You know, if you're not disgusted by this, there's something really wrong if you're not disgusted by this. And I'm not telling people to get violent. I'm not telling people to spaz out. I'm not telling people to go crazy, even though this shit is crazy. You know, life is already insane. We already do the same repetitious stuff day in and day out. We eat, then we eat again. We drink, then we drink again. We shit, we shit again. Wipe our ass, wipe our ass again. We do all these things. Then when we go to these jobs, it's even 10 times more insane because we're going there and doing something we don't want to do. We know that we're getting someone else rich and see... There's a big facade here that's put up with these jobs. You know, yes, a lot of these jobs, they, they're giving us food and bread and milk and other things that we eat and we need. But behind all of that, from what people need, there is a very greedy, a very money-hungry peoples that are behind it. You know, and then they make us think that we should like our job because it's helping someone else. And it's just all a part of the mask and facade put up to keep you and I slaves and to keep you and I working for them. And there is another way. If you have the financial stability right now to do something, you can get away from all of this. See, I'm not in a position right now to do that. I don't have a bunch of wood to build with. I don't really know how to build. My grandfather knows how to build. I could get him to help me. I'd have to go find some land where I could be on. You know, this stuff is not crazy. It's not crazy. See, that's what they will call you, though, because this is how brainwashed everyone is. This is how deluded we have become by all of this. We are so deluded into thinking that we need to go to these jobs and we have to work and all that. And you know, it sounds hypocritical because I'm telling you that, yes, I'm going to need to get a part-time job. And I, I just contradicted myself, but the thing is, I do not want to do this, but I realize if I want to keep this place, I'm going to have to do that in the meantime until I get enough money to do the things that I want and need to do but see there's a, a lot of people that you have the resources right now to do it but you won't do it you will not do it because it's a fear it's a fear that has been pounded in our heads ever since kids that we have to get a job we have to go to college we have to work for some greedy corporate person that don't give two shits about us to get by. And look how many people are struggling to get by. And it just makes me want to vomit. It makes me want to vomit. And I am. I am pissed off. I'm angry about it. And I don't care. Because it is the truth of the matter. It's what goes on every day. It's been going on since the industrial age came about, it's been going on. They used all that building Empire State Building and building all these great and fascinating things. They used that as the excuse to create all of this, even though the Empire State Building is a great creation. And a skyline is a great creation. And, you know, a lot of things are great. But they use that as the facade to pull us into all this nonsense and to this slavery and to this crap. 
So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm having to worry about where my next dollar is going to come from. And I tell you out there, if you have it to do, do. And I know a lot of you, you have to go to these places and you have to do these things. And But, but the thing that I'm trying to say is, why is nothing being done about this? Like, is there anybody fighting against this? Is there anybody that is saying something or speaking up or writing a letter to the top people or saying something to the rest of their employers to do something about it? You know, we want a damn raise here. I want more money. If you're making billions of dollars, I want more money to work for you. Why are we just bowing down to these greedy corporations? Why? Why are we bowing down to these people? And even I, when I get enough money to do what I really am going to do, I have a plan to do what I'm going to do. This ain't just stuff that I'm talking about and blurting out to you. I'm going to do it. It's just I don't have the resources and the stuff to do it right now. If I did and I had somebody that did and, and they were trying to do the same thing and we could do this, I would do it. I swear on my life, I would do it. And I don't have all the answers for this, but I know what goes on. And it's like, where are the people at that are speaking up against this or saying something or doing something about it? If you're in a position to do that, and even if you ain't in a position to do it, where are the people at that are against this stuff? That's how I know how gullible and and fragile and in fear people are because of this. And I don't even know how to end the video because I'll be just as frustrated when I get off of the video as before I started the video. You know, this ain't going to make me feel better venting about this because it's going to be the same thing when I get off the video. It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be worrying about where am I going to go to get money in, in order to pay my rent? And It's just pure insanity. It's pure insanity. And I feel like such a hypocrite in this video. And I feel like I'm contradicting myself because I am. I'm telling you not to do this. But yet, I got to do the same thing. Do you see the insanity in it? And... and and why don't we get together as a people and go against this shit? Why are we so in fear of doing something about this? When I go to a job and if I'm there, I'm going to be saying, hey, this is not enough money to get by. So you just want me to get by while you get rich and get all this money? And you're just sitting on your ass doing nothing. You know, it, it's, it's just crazy. It's so crazy when I sit here and think about how we all got duped into this shit. We've all been duped. We've been completely duped into slavery, bondage, no freedom at all. This is not freedom. This is not freedom, people. And I know what you're thinking, oh, well, what are you going to do about it? You know, maybe you're not thinking this, but it, it's in all of our minds. You know, what are you going to do about this? You know, what is this video really going to do? Well, maybe if you know somebody, you happen to stumble across this video and you know somebody that is one of these higher up people, send this video to them. And say, hey, there's this guy that has this channel, Somebody But Nobody, where he's talking directly towards you. Listen, pay your people more money. We are not getting by with this little bit of money. 
We are slaving for you and you're not paying us enough. You're getting rich while we have to struggle to get the next dollar. And you could pay way more than what you're paying. You know, okay, it's already bad enough. We don't want to go to the job and work. But at least pay us better. And that's what I would say to their face. I'd say it to every one of them. And you know what? If they wouldn't comply, then you know that they are greedy, corporate, whatever words you want to use after that. And they know that they are. They know that they are. And they're laughing at us. They're laughing right at every one of us. They don't care. They don't care. As long as that money's flowing in, the money's flowing in for them, they don't care about you or me at all. Point blank period. So if you are some higher up person that makes all this money and you and you watch this video which i know nobody probably will we're not getting enough money to get by it's it's a crime it's a crime when you're making so much money and you're you're making so much wealth that you could spread this around to so many other people and everybody could be fine Every one of us could live comfortably and have enough, but it's not like that. And I don't think a lot of them want it like that because this is how greedy people are and this is how crazy it is. And this video is way too long. I know nobody's even going to probably get to this part in the video, so I don't know why I go this long, you know, but... I have to go this long in order to get the message across. It just, it can't get across unless I do these long of a video, you know? And it's, I don't know how to do a short video because this is no short topic. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. This is all a part of the brainwash and the slavery and the corruption that we've all been born into and we're still living with to this day. And I ask our parents and the parents before us and the parents before them, how could we allow this to happen to us and our children? And I'm asking myself this. I'm reflecting on myself in this whole video. And... and I don't like what I see in the reflection because you know what? I maybe didn't do enough for myself to get where I want to be and need to be right now. And, and it just sucks. And I'm ashamed of it and I can't stand it. And it just, it, it just needs to stop and it needs to be different. It just needs to be. So... There's just really nothing else to say, but if you got this far, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Appreciate all y'all. Later.